Thailand is a beautiful country with its tropical islands and its paradise beaches playing a big part as to why thousands of people travel here every year. In this video I'll be taking the full island boat tour to go and visit a small cluster of islands just off Krabi in the south coast of Thailand. These islands are also known as the Pipi Islands. Are these islands still worth visiting or are they just a tourist trap for the hundreds of tour operators preying on the unsuspecting selfie addicts searching for that perfect backdrop? Keep watching. An early morning rise and a quick stroll to the booking office to pick up my ticket and get a bus ride to where all the boats are. This tour has cost me 700 baht, which is around 18 pounds sterling. But that also includes a buffet lunch on one of these lovely little paradise islands. Last stop, we're going to visit Pranang Cave together. We're going to visit Pranang Cave together. And after Pranang Cave, we go back here at Aonang. We will finish our trip around 2 or 2.10 to 15. We're going to finish our trip around 2 or 2.10 to 15. And today you go with me. My name is Naeem. My name is Naeem. Or you can call me just M. Just M. M, M for Max Donald or M for Monkey. <laughs> and I brought my assistant today. What's your name, please? My name is Nan. 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 Nan, N A N, Nan, Nan M here. If you have any question, if you need any help, feel free to ask. And first of all, uh, why our boat running? Please have a good seat. Please do not move. Please do not stand. We need to balance the board. We need to balance the board. And if you want to do photos, no worry. We're going to stop the board for you, and we're going to do photos together. And thank you for your attention, Captain. Everybody going to dance until the woman house. So while you travel in Thailand and you see the wedding ceremony, I recommend you wait. I recommend you to stand. You might see the wedding parade. You're going to see the Thai people dance and joyful. Okay, and ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stay here until 10:20. We're going to stay here until 10:20. So 10:20, please be on the board. Our first stop is Top Island probably one of the smallest of the four islands we're going to visit today. This island is actually made up of two small islands, one called Naga and the other one called Princess Island, both romantically joined by a beautiful white sandy beach and probably one of the reasons 
Y is so popular amongst the Thai people and quite often used for matrimonial ceremonies. They normally give you about an hour before you have to be back on the boat, which to be honest with you is plenty of time to have a little wander around the island, enjoy this beautiful scenery, grab a bit of sunshine, maybe a bit of a suntan, and also go for a lovely swim in this beautiful clear blue water. Guys, we're going to visit Top Moor Guy. Three islands that connect with the sandbar. Three islands that connect with the sandbar. And after that, we're going to our second stop. We're going to Sizing at Chicken Island. After Sizing at Chicken Island, we're going to our third stop. We're going to swim. We're going to snorkel at the middle of the sea. So, Captain, going to check which place is better to swim. Like sometimes we swim with snorkel in front of Chicken Island. Sometimes we swim with snorkel in front of Poda Island. And after swim, after snorkel, we're going to Poda Island. We're going to have our the uh, our lunch there. We're going to have our lunch at Poda Island. this island and we're going to have our lunch at 11:40. so 11:40 we eat we have lunch and 12 30 we leave from this island we leave from this island and toilet over there you need to walk like two minute walk and restaurant anywhere you can see but don't forget 11 40 we have lunch here this is our second port of call on our four island boat tour Poda island this is actually a national park and would normally cost you around 400 baht, which is around a tenner if you came here privately. But fortunately, we're on a package deal and of course the price is included. We will be stopping for some lunch here and plenty of time to have a little look around the island and hopefully time to even have a nice little swim. These gorgeous beaches are closed for six months of the year and I've arrived today and it's been open for about two weeks now so I'm really privileged but as you can see there is a bit of work going on uh, just clearing things up for the tourist season just about to begin but yeah they close these islands for six months to help them rejuvenate um, and get back to normal some kind of some form of normality because as you can imagine people traipsing up and down here every day hundreds at a time it does give the island a little bit of wear and tear so it's really great that you know they close it for six months and then as I say two weeks ago they opened it so everything's nice and fresh and beautiful just as nature intended it to be well when you come on these on one of these boat cruises visiting the islands they put out a load of food for you as well, a buffet of all kinds of different things. We've got some rice, green curry, some noodles, some vegetarian dishes, which are pretty much all gone. Absolutely fantastic. These guys put on a little buffet for you as well. Well worth it, all included in the price, of course. And you can eat it in this absolutely paradise setting. I mean, what more could you ask for? Uh, I just got myself some food that's put on by the um, 
by the boat crew. Uh, some vegetarian chicken. It's going to be a bit difficult to pan in on this. But basically some rice, some chicken, some uh, green curry and a little bit of everything chucked in. Absolutely fantastic. Try a bit of this chickpea curry. Again. Ah, this double, double. Amazing. And all plastic, don't forget. Remember all plastic you put here. Chickpea curry, green curry, bit of rice. Fresh pineapple. That fresh pineapple. Don't get better than that. Beautiful. So yeah, Paradise Island, Paradise View, great food. What more can you ask for? third stop on this wonderful four island boat tour, Chicken Island. And the reason why it's called Chicken Island, believe it or not, is because it looks like a chicken. Well, on this stop, we won't actually be going onto the island, but instead what happens is they hand you a set of goggles or snorkeling gear, and you jump over the edge of the boat and have a little look at the fish or the marine life that might be down there. Now on a nice day, that's absolutely brilliant because it's all very clear and the water's nice and clear. But today's not a very clear day and it's a bit cloudy and you can't actually see much. In fact, you can probably just about see your hand in front of your face when you're underwater. So I did actually go for a swim, but unfortunately I'm a bit weary, especially in foreign waters, uh, when I don't know what's lurking around underneath me. So hasten to add, I wasn't in very long. I did get out and back in the boat pretty quickly and sorry about that but I don't have much more on Chicken Island. So moving on gracefully. Last but not least, we arrive at our final destination on this little boat tour, Riley Bay. Now, funnily enough, Riley Bay is not actually an island, but as it's only accessible by longboat, I guess for argument's sake, we'll call it an island. Riley Bay Beach is about a 10 minute walk on the other side of the peninsula from where the boat actually dropped us off. We head off along this small narrow path that runs alongside these absolutely amazing limestone cliff and small cave inlet formation. I've never seen anything like it. These limestone rock formations are so captivating and picturesque. Just one of the many things that makes this little boat tour such a fantastic day out.
And then, as if that wasn't enough, the path comes to an abrupt end and opens up of this absolutely stunning paradise, white sandy blue water beach. Along with its sun seekers and its beach lovers, Riley Bay Beach with its high rocky cliffs and beautiful scenic views is also a popular destination for rock climbers. Well, what can I say? Four island boat tour off Ao Nang. My personal opinion, brilliant. Well worth every penny. I mean, it cost me 18 quid. Hey, come on, you know, well worth it. I mean, you do get some of these dodgy tours, dodgy places that, you know, I wouldn't, I, w I would tell you about if they were dodgy, but this one was absolutely brilliant. You know what I mean? They, they literally laid everything on gave us fantastic food, fantastic service, looked after us, absolutely well worth every penny and uh, I would highly recommend it, yeah, so Ao Nang, um, boat tour to four different islands, I'm well impressed, money well spent, thanks very much for watching, Chef Travels, see you on the next one, cheers.